Welcome to Tech Vibes, a weekly roundup of stories in tech, crypto, blockchain, AI, and future web. Today is October 11th, and this is episode number 10. Before we dive into everything, we'd like to be cautious about and let you know right from Jump Street, we are not financial advisors, wealth managers, lawyers, brokers, or CPAs. We're merely reading off headlines and giving you a little color to each one of the stories that we curate throughout the week in tech. To kick off this week, Fidelity plans first fund that may use blockchain. This was on the information.com. Investing giant Fidelity Investments is laying the groundwork to launch a money market fund that may trade on blockchain in the future. It's the latest effort by a big traditional money manager to explore using the technology to speed up financial transactions and widen the audience for its products. As a believer in crypto, blockchain, and a lot of new tech, it's kind of like a duh moment, in my opinion. But it always takes the bigger incumbents to adopt new technology for the critical mass to actually accept it a little bit more and for regulation to wrap its arms around it. In a headline on BlockWorks, Stripe reintegrates crypto payments in the U.S. Customers can pay merchants in USDC or USDP on Ethereum, Solana, and Polygon while U.S.-based merchants are paid in dollars. In the article, it does cite that Stripe takes 1.5% of the transaction amount, which is lower than the 2.9% plus 30% fee it typically charges on card payments. The move comes nearly seven years after Stripe discontinued its first crypto experiment amid the growing realization that Bitcoin would not become a blockchain optimized for payments. And for those of you who've listened to the Fort Brox podcast, we do. We've talked about it a lot as far as payment and crypto. In my opinion, you know, Nano, it's a great one because there's no fees and it's fast. It settles super quick. And it's that ability to settle and remove a lot of intermediaries where a lot of the value really lies. And some of Nano's value propositions of just being easy to use and faster. It's so simple sometimes I think the adoption doesn't see it as powerful as it could be, but that's just one example and one opinion. In a headline on Bloomberg, it reads, Amazon is adding Apple TV Plus streaming service to its channel store in the US. This is interesting, and we've talked about it before. Netflix is licensing content from HBO, but this is a little different, and you think of it as a streaming war, but it is, it's gonna be interesting. In a headline on The Wrap, it reads, Netflix is not changing talent compensation model, Bella Bajari says. CEO Bella Bajari sets the record straight on rumors they are changing talent payments saying, quote, we are not changing our compensation model, so that's just not true. And in a Bloomberg tweet, it reads as a quote, everybody wants there to be a story there, the streaming's chief content officer says at Bloomberg screen time. Well, we did mention an article that came out the other week, so why not follow with the correction in the form of the CCO coming out and saying what she's saying? In two back-to-back Tesla headlines, one comes from The Verge. It reads, Tesla's cyber cab announced Elon Musk's robo-taxi is finally here. You can click the link in our show notes. Another headline on Reuters says, exclusive, Tesla scraps low-cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. The Chinese EV market is definitely interesting, especially when you start talking about those hot battery swaps. That's pretty cool. An article on Variety reads, inside TikTok's money squeeze on independent labels. This is a classic divide and conquer situation as the headline reads. We highly suggest you read this article if you're interested in this sort of thing. A headline on Bloomberg reads, crypto startup backed by OpenAI founder to launch derivatives exchange. Now here's the thing about OpenAI and how it has its fingers in all kinds of different startups, even people who were there and then left and so forth. And we even mentioned on a couple different episodes, that could be one career path, go work at OpenAI, Anthropic, some of these big AI companies, and it really positions you to network and build a career out of it. But it's interesting. It's, you know, its own corporate venture capital type thing. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, to really build a market around you, if you're funding a lot of the startups to start using technology that you are creating, it's only going to build a remote around your business if they're dependent upon your tech, right? In an article on BlockWorks, it reads, Crypto.com files suit against SEC discloses Wells Notice. This is an ongoing thing, so please click through on our show notes to read more about it. In a LinkedIn post, Matt Wood, VP of AI at Amazon, writes, After 15 incredible years, it's time for me to say farewell to Amazon. One William Gibson quote has always stood out to me, quote, The future is here. It's not just evenly distributed yet. 
it's a cool post and we have the link in our show notes. Plus, it's just interesting to see who's going to take a spot and what will happen because he was there for a little while in our last bit of news for the week. And again, it's not all the news for the week. It's just what we're curating. Reads, NVIDIA's RTX 5070 reportedly set to launch alongside the RTX 5090 at CES 2025. This was on The Verge. And if you're fans of GPUs, which we are, we still mine with them. We're mining Ravencoin right now, and we have a really cool situation set up with the way our electricity works. So that's why we're able to do it. But if you too are a fan of this information, click the link in our show notes. This is a shorter episode this week. You know, things seem a little bit quieter. There's definitely plenty of stuff going on. We're sure there'll be plenty more things that hit the fan in the coming weeks. But our original music is provided by Jordan Halpern Schwartz and Jeff Kleiman of Good Soup Music. We'd like to thank you. And if you found value in this, please share it with others. Who doesn't like to share value? Again, we're cautiously optimistic and hopefully pessimistic on tech. Have a great weekend.